Hey, what's up guys? Michael here with uh, World Drive M. In today's episode, I'm uh, gonna show you how I've uh, repaired my uh, cluster I, um, because I had some problems. I don't, I didn't have any uh, pixel, dead pixel or something like that. I just have a small problem that my secondary uh, LCD uh, LC pixel display it was uh, kind of um, short on backlighting. It show all the details, all the computer stuff, but it hasn't any li enough light. So I um, start uh, tearing apart the car. I took the cluster in house and I. Uh, I just mess with the cables because I know that everything was working and um, let me show you how I did it. And as you can see here, the left side is illuminated and the right side is not illuminated. That's why I have to take this apart. I'm gonna use a T10 to remove all the bolts. Uh, we have uh, three screws, not bolts, three screws on the top, on the plastic cover. As you can see here, I'm um, start uh, taking the middle one first. Now I'm going to take uh, the second one, it's the left, uh, the right side. And the last one. After that you have to remove the trim, because underneath, as you can see, we have another screw in the middle. This, this is the right side of the car. You have to take the left side as well. Just have to be careful because uh, these uh, trims are like brittle and you can um, break them apart. And as you can see, another two screws on the left side and this one on the right side. I'm start removing the right screw. And now the left ones, on the left side we have two screws. And the last one, the left screw from the left side. Now I can take this plastic cover. As you can see, you have a few connections for the light switch module and for the other the other buttons. And here I want to show you that the cluster is uh, on, is illuminated, but you can see nothing because the backlighting is not working. And I am keep uh, <laughs> unplugging the wires. Uh, it was like um, very hard plastic and uh, it was very hard to get it out. As you can see here, it's like a small tap in the middle you have to use a screwdriver to pry that out and with the other hand to pull the the connection it was a little bit uh, hard but it's not uh, something that you cannot do okay and um, as you can see i've took the dim uh, light controller out from the plastic cover because it, it was uh, it was easier to take the connection out
and now I can uh, remove the cluster itself and uh, for uh, that we have to remove another two screws that are up as you can see I'm using the, the same T10 torque tool that was the right side and this one is the left side these are the last two screws So no screws anymore and I can take the cluster out. Um, yeah, very important. First you have to pull from the upper side and see how easy it comes out. If you have um, settings for your uh, steering wheel for height and uh, deep, you can uh, leave that setting open and you can move your steering wheel for having more place these are the connection behind I have three connectors you can just pull this red plastic and uh, the last connection you can see here how to remove it and tada it's out As you can see in here, the cluster is in home and uh, sometimes the LED, uh, dis uh, L the pixel display, sometimes it's uh, completely illuminated or just half or not at all. So that's why I have to open this if I, I think uh, it's just a bad connection because I don't have any uh, Raw, any pixel uh, missing or something like that it's just the backlighting uh, contact wire it's off or it's not uh, a good um, solder together that's why I need to open this and to open a cluster first you have to take the seal off but I've broken because it's not like uh, new car and uh, I don't want to uh, to somebody see that I've already worked on this so it doesn't it doesn't matter so first you you can heat this up and with a uh, something sharp you can take this off and after that you can put it back but like I said it doesn't matter after that you have to turn this plastic uh, screws like let me try to yeah you can see the slot you have to turn this to fit the slot and we have one another one here another one here so three four we have four and five in the middle so we have five two here another two here in the middle one five pieces i i'm gonna turn all in the the same position and after that i will take the this plastic tabs off and uh, I can after that I can uh, uh, take it apart after long struggling <laughs> I finally did it it was way harder than I thought it's just a plastic cover this one and uh, I'm gonna take this oops this uh, plastic tabs off and I'm gonna take the LCD out and uh, I'm gonna look where the these connections are and find out why it's not working and um, before I show you the result I have to say that I have kind of fucked up with the uh, video editing I lost the important footage of this episode uh, I don't know, I've tried to shoot this video with uh, more, more than uh, two cameras and I've converted the video and anyway, I've lost the, that, the step that where I uh, tear apart the gauge cluster and uh, I don't have any footage and I'm not going to <laughs> tear it apart again. I'm going to show you the end result. Check it out. So guys. Ta-da! 
it was just like uh, just a bad connection I think now it's working Oop. and uh, as you can see now I've um, unlocked the speed uh, but it's not uh, quite accurate in uh, when I'm driving the car it's show me the uh, correct speed but now I'm I'm park I'm parked and uh, this uh, said that I'm driving like 12 kilometers per hour but it's I'm standing still anyway um, that's it for now I've uh, I've broke this uh, water indicator temperature I've uh, kind of messed up the spring inside when I put everything back and um, I don't know if oh yeah let uh, let us check that oh it's working how come so it's not uh, broken huh that's strange anyway so job done so guys I hope you like this video I'm pretty happy with the result because my uh, cluster gauge cluster is working I have all the information now I have a backlighting everything is okay I'm uh, really happy with this uh, repair and uh, if you want to see more repairs or, or if you want to see my build my 500 horsepower build just uh, subscribe hit that like button and um, yeah like a, a small update on what's happening with the build um, I think it's the first time when I can say that we've bought a house with more uh, yard and more space to work on the cars because in this uh, neighborhood it's not allowed to work on the cars it's not allowed to work with oil and stuff like that because it's a, like a private residential area and uh, it's like an area with uh, something like green stuff with a with a, a CO2, a CO2 emissions and stuff like that and i i have no chance to work on the cars here so we've bought a house it's uh, here near our house but um, there i can work on on the cars and uh, in the first september i'm we can move there or i'm just start working on the cars there i don't know exactly but uh, i'm gonna start working really working on this car um, I've said in the first video when I showed this car I have a, a few rust spots I didn't address that because I cannot work on this car here so if you want to see this build stay tuned subscribe like the video and uh, if you want to uh, see more information between the videos just follow me on Instagram Facebook Twitter at Warp Drive M everywhere Facebook Instagram Twitter and uh, there you can see and you, fi you can find new information with between the videos so until next time see you later